I'm starting off really simply with about three and a half cups of uh, whole roasted almonds. I'm going to add about um, half a tablespoon of salt, all right? And then to this mixture, just to get it going, because the first thing we want to do here is really get everything into a fine, fine powder. And you'll see it'll be coarse at first, and then, and then after a while, get finer and finer. You just have to let it run its course. Remember, when you're using a... Um, a food processor, try not to make it go for too long, like 90, maybe 20, 20, 30 minutes is enough. So I'm going to add about four heap tablespoons of almond powder and make it five actually. And these are big tablespoons, now these are heaped like that, so five tablespoons. This is really, making almond butter is really all about just judging it yourself. You know what almond butter is supposed to look like, so make it look like that. We're going to whiz this through, get it really fine. Once it has a fine texture, like a coarse, nice texture, it's almost ready. Um, we'll get it a little bit more fine, and then what we're gonna do is just taste it here. I'm gonna add, complete that tablespoon of salt, so I'm gonna add one more um, half tablespoon. And then we're gonna start off with our liquids. Um, this will really just ha help us react. So what I'm adding here is uh, a third of a cup first of organic palm oil, all right? And then we're just gonna whiz that again. Now you see how it really like sticks to the side like that. We're gonna add more liquid, so this will bring it up to one half of palm oil, right? And hopefully that'll help uh, homogenize the whole thing together. Now your whole purpose here is to try to get everything nice um, and together and compact. So keep each time it rises up, just keep pushing it down, and eventually you'll see it'll get thicker and thicker and thicker as the grains get finer and the, the oil really reacts with all the almonds in here. Now to this mix here, I'm just going to add about a third of a cup of honey. This will really just be where all our sweetness comes from. And you want to make sure that your pot here is not too uh, full. If it's too full, then you won't have um, you know, the reaction you want and you won't have it like a paste forming together. All you'll have is crumbs. So now we're just going to let it really just get nice and fine and just let it on. Leave it on. Now we're just going to add just a little bit more of palm oil, maybe a third of a cup just to really get everything nice and together. So each time you open it, make sure you just press it down. And this is really the process where it gets difficult, we're gauging um, the pace that you want. As it gets uh, more and more pasty, it should start moving as a whole, and if it, still, if it still rises up on the side here, then just keep pushing it down, keep putting it on, be patient, and it'll happen sooner or later. Now, what I like to do um, to help it along its way is I like putting like a starter, so I have here, um, the almond butter I did the other day, and I'm just gonna add a little bit of it, maybe a third of a cup, um, just to really get everything into the night same texture, because it's like, um, considering like yogurt, for example, you need, sometimes all you need is yogurt to start making a yogurt, or when you make bread, all you need is like a starter, um, of yeast that's been bubbling for a while, so it's the same thing. After a while, your almond butter will basically clump up um, and that's when you know it's ready. It's basically like a paste now. Um, and then you can really just decide if you want to make it uh, more liquid by adding more honey or making it sweeter by adding honey, um, saltier by adding salt, or more oil if you want to. I find this is, for me, the perfect balance. And it's an So the texture you want to eventually work up to is something pasty like that. You'll see the oil rise up a little bit, but that's not a problem. Um, and yeah, so it's just nice and fluid, and it's a little oily, don't be scared of it. Um, serving size, maybe two tablespoons, should be enough.